This video is brought to you by LearnCodeOnline.in. Visit our website or download our apps. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in this video, we are talking about some of the design stuff. Now, first of all, don't assume that I'm a designer. By profession, I'm a programmer and I like to design my own stuff as well. And from last three years, I've been using Sketch, which is a great uh, user interface design stuff like things. And I also do have some experience with Adobe ecosystem. I'll not call any of the particular product like Photoshop, Illustrator or XD, entire Adobe ecosystem. This video is going to help you to understand a lot of things about Adobe ecosystem as well as my experience with Sketch. And you'll be able to make better decision which one you should go for and is going to also help you to understand that how the design industry right now is working and on which product you can focus on for enhancing your skills and stuff like that. So this is going to be a really helpful video for all those designers who are looking forward to start their journey in the tech domain. First and foremost, I would like to share my journey of uh, learning a few things about the design. Now, I'm not at all an expert in design because my main job is to write codes and coders or programmers are usually not that much good in designing. Things are changing now, but also uh, let me get on to the point here. So first of all, I got introduced with just like everyone else. I got introduced with the Photoshop first. I didn't heard about the sketch and all these things in my early childhood. Of course, these things were not there. So I got introduced with the Photoshop. I got a little bit intimidated with that because there were so much options. Still, it was fun to learn. I did brush up a few skills on Photoshop during early days. And then I moved into the Illustrator. That was a strange choice because at that time, nobody was learning Illustrator, uh, at least in my surroundings. A lot of other people were doing it. I have a good experience with the Illustrator. I enjoy designing some of the graphics, icons, uh, some really bad cartoons that are not at all good. So I do had an experience with that. But I was not at all a designer. I was in fact a little bit afraid of the designing stuff. I used to just uh, give these tasks to somebody else or outsource them. And I was into most of the programming stuff. But just like almost three years ago, I got introduced with the sketch. I loved it absolutely. I still do love sketch. And it introduced me the whole new era and whole, do, whole new realm of the design aspect. The simple reason was it was having not so many options like Photoshop, Illustrator, they have so many options. It's really hard to find the tool that you are looking for. And in the sketch, the things were sorted out and it helped me to move as a designer as well. Not a perfect designer, but I learned a lot of things. I was now designing my whole buttons and my whole UI. And of course, when you mix sketch with uh, things like uh, Envision and stuff, it becomes really awesome. So during last three years, I learned quite a lot about the designing stuff. I enjoyed that quite a lot. Now let me tell you also some of the stuff which a lot of people don't like to talk about it, but let me just answer them as well. Now the industry is moving towards Sketch and in fact, a lot of designers now are switching totally on the Sketch if they are app, de app designers or maybe the web designers as well. But still, most of the industry is on still the Adobe ecosystem. And by the Adobe ecosystem, I mean uh, the Photoshop, Illustrator, XD. Uh, by the way, I, I also do have Adobe ecosystem in my computer as well. And I have tried, given a shot, some of the Adobe XD. I liked it a little bit because it is, again, precise, not having so much options. And it's easy to actually conquer as compared to Photoshop and Illustrator. So I like that. Now coming back onto the whole point, which is the whole point of this video is, which product should you start working with? Now, if you want to just get with the sketch, again, that's a really beautiful choice, but there is one big downside. And that's not the industry side, that's a big downside on the computer. Now, in order to work with the sketch, you need to have a Mac operating system. It's a Mac-based product and that's it. That's the whole standard here. Now, since I have seen in the last years that most of the designers are mostly working on a Apple product, so it's uh, no big brainer that most of the industry is already switching there. But the important issue is that there is still a huge community which is using the Windows and are not able to uh, just get the power what the sketch is able to deliver. And Adobe actually realized that we have a lot of market space that actually sketch has created, that's a market gap, and we can fill that up using Adobe XD. Amazing product, uh, serves on cross-platform for Windows as well as for Mac. I really liked it. I would say that it's honestly a copy of the sketch. 
what the sketch actually came up with the tools and the simplicity that are being copied exactly in a variety of tools. Figma is no exception, Adobe XD is no exception. So obviously, if you want to become a designer for app or web, you can choose now Adobe XD as well. Now also let me address this question that a lot of people ask me that all these things really cost money. Sketch is not so much pricey, but it costs money and you need to have your Apple ecosystem as well. Uh, Adobe product also cost money. It's not really much. It's around like 700 Indian rupees uh, for just one product usage. Uh, but I think you can get a better deal if you get like uh, the whole cloud syntax thing, uh, the whole product thing, which is far more efficient as is a good deal. The thing that you get is really amazing, but sometimes people cannot even afford 700 rupees per month as well. But here is my point with all of you. Once you understand the product and you have a mastery of learning that, getting back that 700 rupees is just a matter of time. And of course, you're going to get that because the skill that you are learning for designing can easily be uh, outsourced and can be provided to other companies, maybe on the freelancer site. And obviously, you can get your money back pretty easily. Also, let's address this question, which is quite common as well. A lot of people say, that hey, uh, we have some alternatives of Photoshop which are like open source version, uh, maybe Inkscape or other things which are out there, maybe GIMP that a lot of institutions use because it's free. Now let me tell you the fact that how industry works and uh, this is like some of the people are not going to like it but this is how the industry works. You will find a lot of jobs for the open source world in the programming domain but when it comes to the design ecosystem, you will not find various job opportunities that say, hey, we want to hire a designer with a GIMP or GIMP skills. No, it doesn't really work. Most of the design jobs that you'll be seeing are based on, hey, we want designers who have skills in Photoshop, Illustrator, maybe Sketch, maybe XD, whatever the job is. But basically, it's either the Adobe ecosystem or maybe uh, the Sketch. So that's the only option. You can just argue with me here based that, hey, there are some exceptions. People are looking for GIMP designers. But as far as I can see in the industry, what I have been interacted with the people based on that, I can say that it's either the Adobe ecosystem or the sketch. And there is not much market for the people who have skills in GIMP. Yes, it's being taught quite a lot in the institution because institutions sometimes like to cut off their budget in spending good amount of money for Adobe or sketch licenses. And that's why they use GIMP. Uh, but yes, your design skills are always going to be helpful because you now have understanding and knowledge of how the colors actually contrast each other or how the colors can be used. These skills are always, uh, these skills really do matter a lot. But again, I would say that invest a little bit money and time in learning either the Adobe ecosystem or the sketch and that's going to be really helpful for you. I am sharing a lot of thoughts in this video. I hope you don't mind that. One more thing that I would like to talk in here that recently uh, our client work is actually booming quite a lot and we are getting a lot of clients and that's the reason that's the main reason why I have switched back onto the Adobe ecosystem for last almost more than a year I was using totally sketch and some free online softwares for whenever I need some of the basic Photoshop skills uh, that's basically what I have been doing. But you know what, when you work with the industry close to the various startups and uh, various client works, they sometimes and most of the time they're going to send you files and artworks in Photoshop or Illustrator being designed. Some of them do send us in Sketch as well, which I'm really happy because I can just because, you know, when you want to have some things like, hey, this button is not looking good for 15 pixels of square of the radius on the borders and we just want to make it 10. Sending back those files back to designer is like really a time consuming process. You can just, if you know the skills of Sketch or Photoshop or Illustrator, you can just click on a few buttons and can change that pretty, pretty easily. So I like to do these stuff. I don't like to send back my designs to the designers. And for that, if the design is coming in the Sketch, that's good. But now the designs don't usually come in the Sketch. They always do comes up in mostly Photoshop and Illustrator. So that's why we need to have uh, these softwares as well here. So that's why we moved back into the Adobe ecosystem as well as on the sketch as well. Now, since I do have my skills a little bit in Photoshop, not much, honestly, we hear uh, some more skills are there on Illustrator and I'm loving the XD as well. So probably in the future, you can expect some videos in these three topics as well, mostly on Adobe XD because I love that product. Uh, it's a good competition for the sketch. So probably in the future, you can see some of the videos here. Again, I openly accept that, that I'm not at all a designer.
but since we have this huge and good community at my youtube channel people are really amazing here and really skilled i am learning a lot from you guys by making these videos i check out all of the comments below and there are really some good advice and good tips so probably i can become a better designer if i make videos on these photoshop and xd and programming and all those stuff so that's why i basically I'm going to be posting most videos on XD as well. Okay, so I know this video was more over a general talk about uh, my experience with Adobe ecosystem as well as with the sketch. And this video is going to help you, I'm pretty sure of it, it's, this video is going to help you to take better decisions so that invest, you can invest your time as well as money both uh, in more reasonable places. Of course, I'm pretty open to have a discussion with you guys in the comment section that which product you like the most and what are the reasons behind that. Obviously, it's going to help me to learn better and understand the things really better. And I have given you some inside peeks at how things are working and how the clients actually send you the stuff and stuff like that. So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And yes, I would like to also make one more point here. The bell icon is actually made for guys like me. I do post regularly. Every single week I post like five or six videos. Uh, but there is no fixed time when I post videos. Sometimes it's like 12 o'clock in the night. Sometimes it's like five o'clock in the morning. And sometimes it's the daytime. So hit that bell icon so that you can get notified when I'm uploading the video. I'm, I'm consistent, but there is no fixed time when I'm going to be posting the video. So bell icon is my best friend. So that's it for this video. In case you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And in case you want to stay around with programming and design and tech stuff, do hit the subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.